Uh, you've got all those controls over there. I'm struggling to get my name out. <laughs> all right, guys, we're live for the first ever Sneaker Rundown. Uh, this is basically a live show, 10 to 15 minute show, uh, where we're going to talk about some of the hottest topics, current topics, whether it's sports, sneakers, and whatever else is going on in the world. So, real quick, we got Eddie Wynn. Uh, Eddie Wynn, how's it going, man? We frozen already? <laughs> oh, <laughs> not bad. Sorry. You All right, no, no, cut okay. out on me. I thought I was cool. myself cool. for a second. Just a classic. You yeah, yeah. Did you ask me something? How's it going, man? Can you hear me? No, it may have been me. Everything's good. Everything's good. How's cool. it going with you? Everything's great. Uh, Jason, yes. how's it going with you? Hey, man. Everything's going well. Going well. It's a little, uh, little too hot for my likings this early into the summer, but... yeah. That's yeah, all right. yeah, it was like almost 90 today where we're at. Um, so first things first, uh, Jordan Brazil pack, 500 bucks. You get uh, Jordan 6 and a uh, CP3. Uh, I'm curious of your guys' thoughts on the pack. Jason, what do you think about that that $500 uh, retail? Uh, well, I guess they uh, Nike didn't learn their lesson, Jordan brand, whatever, with the uh, – Phone posit. I don't know about you, your, your guys's area, but uh, we had a lot of returns on the penny pack. So I think I, I don't know. I think I think that six looks pretty nice, but I just don't see everybody wanting the other shoe. And if you're trying, I guess some people are going to try to resell. However, the case may be. I mean, I heard it's already pretty limited. So maybe that. I I don't know. It, it's I think. I think it's nice, but I just think that that price point, if it was maybe another, um, if they would have done the Jordan 6, the championship pack, that as a pack, that would have definitely been a success. But if you're putting a Jordan in there, a CP3, any other Jordan brand athlete, I just don't really see that, you know, hitting too well with everybody else. Yep. Uh, Eddie? Dude, I like the 6. The 6 is dope, but... That's kind of where it stops. The combo is so odd to me. Just because, from a sizing perspective, I think the retro sixes run a little big, right? So most people go down a half a size, and the CP3s probably run true to size. So if you go down a half a size to have the sixes fit right, you're going to be snug in the CP3s. And I don't really like that shoe from a casual standpoint anyway. They could have thrown anything else in there. It would have been great. But the sixes looked dope, though. Yeah, like like you you're paying five hundred dollars for a Jordan six because no one right. in their right no one in their right mind is wants the CP three. Like even the, the biggest CP three fan in the world does not want that shoe. Come on, so right. you're paying so so you're paying so we're we're gonna see eBay flooded. It's gonna be the biggest half pack you've ever seen. You know when people split the packs, this is gonna yeah. be the yeah. most split pack of all time. No one wants that CP three. People are gonna be paying five hundred for a Jordan 6 with a Brazil color on it. I, you know, yeah, I get, they're, they're going to be limited and stuff, but I, I don't know about that. Do you think that CP3 will be under retail on eBay? Oh, I, I, it depends. If they're, like, legitimately super limited, it'll be tough, but, but right. yeah, they have to, they, they're going to have to go for under retail. Who wants that shoe? And you're gonna have to give up. You're gonna have to give up the whole pack too. It's not like you're gonna be able just to sell the shoe. If they take it, they're gonna want that in the pack to make a deal. As far as the packaging goes, totally. Yeah. It, it's it's a nightmare. Um, so on to the uh, next topic. Uh, Jordan Brand uh, announced they're gonna be raising the prices of their Jordan Retros uh, in 2015. They said they're gonna raise the price and they're going to uh, increase the quality. Uh, Eddie, what are your thoughts on, on the price increase and quality increase? Uh, obviously, the quality increase is thumbs up in my book. Price increase, it's going to happen anyway. It happens every single year, you know. But the fact that they're coming out and saying that the quality is going to be better as well as a price increase, I'm down with it. I'm just going to be – I'm just going to pick and choose which ones I can grab. You know, I'm going to be more specific. There's – like countless retros I've picked up just almost like as an impulse buy. You know, that Saturday morning, you're like, do I want these? You're kind of on the fence, and you just more so, more than less, you go, you go for it. But with that, what are they going to be, 195 Is that the price? Prob probably. It's going to be between, yeah. I'd say, 185 and 195 Yeah, so for me, 
in, when I get, once I get into that $200 price range, there's some nice things I can get for, for that much money. So I don't know. Like there's like yeah. filling pieces that are like 250 bucks. So if I pay $50 more, I can get like more of like a high end looking shoe. So I don't know. But uh, yeah. if the quality is as good as a lot of people are saying it's going to be, then I'll probably pick up a, a good amount of pairs. Yeah, uh, Jason? Uh, well, the one thing I think I've been thinking about the most, because I actually really have been looking into this, is they might, you know, they say that it's going to be better quality until I actually see it in person. I don't, I don't know if that will justify it. I mean, the price is always going to go up. But I think the thing that's going to really um, make people pissed off is if this is true, I don't see it being as, you know, generally released. So I see, like, the ones that everybody wants, the cement fours with the Nike Air, the bread fours, Nike Air. I see all that stuff being really limited. So at the same time, it's like you're already putting better quality, which in the mind of a reseller, they're going to then put the prices up even higher. So I, I, could, I can see the good and the bad, but I'm really looking forward to at least having an opportunity to grab some off that list that I really want. Yeah, like at least I have a reason why I'm getting bent over. At least they're saying, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because before we're just taking it right up the ass, you know, at, at 170 <laughs> for no good reason. Like I think I, yeah. I think retail on my Black Cement 3s was 150 Now, Now I'm going to buy um, – Sport Blue Threes for 170, and it's the same. There was no, I guess, you know, what inflation? I, I guess that's the reason for the the price jump. At least I'm, they're saying, oh no, we're gonna put better quality into the shoe. That's why there's a price increase. Why yeah. did the retros go up ten dollars last fall? Inflation, popularity, I, I, you know, I don't know. At least we have a specific reason. So, um, you know, I, I'm okay with it. I think I think we're gonna see some. At least they're 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 saying like, hey, we're we're gonna try to make things better. Or we're gonna really step our game up. I, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, and what what uh, yeah. what happens if they are a lot better? Does every other retro from the past like I don't know like six or seven years where it's been crappy? Are yeah. those just like <laughs> are those just gonna be sitting on eBay for a hundred bucks? Like my Chicago tents. I know they're gonna come out with those again, and this, the quality on be... them isn't that great. So what is gonna happen with those? <laughs> Right, this will be the 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 you know Jordan, I mean? the Jordan yeah. retro crappy era. And plus, I mean, the other thing is, if they're saying they're going to be better quality, I mean, what what's to say better quality? Are, are we going to say it's the best quality? I mean, is it going to be better than the original? I mean, who who does it really say? I mean, we haven't even seen pictures. I just, I'm really intrigued by it. I can't wait. Yeah, that word quality uh, gets thrown uh, thrown around a lot, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Next topic up is uh, a very touchy one for Jason, as he's a very big <laughs> LeBron James fan. Uh, LeBron's legacy. Um, you know, LeBron's legacy, where's it at? Uh, I'll go to Eddie first on this one. Oh, man. <laughs> and Jason's probably got <laughs> a, a swing ready to, to drop. But, um, you know, he... He's a legend. He's going to be one of the best basketball players of our generation, hands down. Uh, I don't really get too deep into the basketball talk because there are people that just know it so much better than me. But he's entertaining to watch. Um, his highlights are, are are like you could just get lost on YouTube watching his highlights. And, you know, he disrespected me in person. So <laughs> he's, 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 we he's already know you personal, hold yeah. You've got the personal beef going, so you're not right. you're not the best for this because you've always got that vendetta. Yeah. But... So when I'm watching those highlights, that's in the back of my mind. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm, that's classic. I'm, to I'm totally past that. But that's classic. Uh, I, I gotta know what Jason thinks about this. Yeah, Jason. Uh, let's let's see if you can do it in like a minute and a half. That would be. Okay. It's that's tough. That's like trying to split an atom. I don't even. There, know what no, do, it but... it really is. But... <laughs> but just tell me how you're feeling, basically. You know. Well. I was surprisingly a lot more calm after this one, and I think it's because, to a certain degree, I know that there's only so much one person can do, and if he would have bombed the finals, like he, like I, I'm not biased. I mean, he played like complete shit in 2011 when they lost. So, for him to finish the way he did and play well, um, and just you know get no help. I don't want to use that as an excuse. I just think that it's really bad that it went out like that. And if you would have told me 
the Heat would have only won two championships since he's been there in that four years. Um, I mean, I, I it's one. I mean, yeah, it's great that they got to all four, but it's just I don't know. Last year, I thought San Antonio was the better team, but LeBron would be able to pull it out. And this year, again, but San Antonio just, you know, they were a much better team as far as LeBron's legacy goes. I I don't like to get into it too much because it seems like as soon as the NBA season starts, we'll hear something new that he breaks as far as the youngest to do something, moves up on the all-time. So I kind of just want to let it play out. Uh, I mean, I think he's going to be one of the best all-time. So as far as rings go... Magic Johnson got to nine finals and lost four. LeBron's only lost three, so we'll just see how it plays out. Yeah, like, the guy's 29 years old. He's already been to five NBA finals. I mean, for all we know, he could go to another five and, and go to ten. You know, yeah. I don't think it's I, – I think that people need to get over the, oh, he need, well, he needed to go six for six and be perfect to tie Jordan. Like, get rid of that. Yeah, he's a great player, obviously. Um, and for the record, no one will ever top Jordan, so don't don't think that I'm I'm right. like that. So right, no, I I don't think so. Um, the the thing with and, and let's not forget the Heat just played in four straight finals. You know, yeah, that team is probably gassed. Dwayne Wade's knees are are close to rubbish. You know, mm -hmm. they they broke down a little bit. That's fine. You know, the biggest issue I had. And I, I like LeBron. I like him a lot actually. But I didn't. I feel like he's losing a little bit of fire when it comes to basketball. Especially when he had that comment where he was like, it's just basketball. It, it was almost a little like, oh, is it? Because I thought it was, to him, he always made it seem like basketball was his entire life and that's all that mattered. And when he said, oh, it's only basketball, I almost got the sense of like, well, does he, I know he cares, but is he like, does he have that, that fire that still? And I think he almost needs to go find himself again. I remember when he lost um, against the Mavs, he said he sat in his room for two weeks straight. He was legitimately depressed. Whereas now he, he kind of seems like, Oh, you know, I'll be okay. Like, I, I think he needs that fire. I think he needs he needs that drive to be like, no, no, no. I, I this isn't acceptable. Losing is not okay. So, you know, I, I just think he needs that a little bit more fire. You, I, you agree I, a little bit? No, I, I do agree with that. I I just think that a lot of the um the de I don't want to say he was depressed. But I don't know what he was, but <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not close with him. But uh. When he when they when they lost the finals, <laughs> when they lost to Dallas, that was like, you're the superstar, you're the best in the league, and you played like shit. This year, you did your part to an extent. I guess you could have gone a little harder at certain times, but you get Mario Chalmers averaging three point three the entire NBA Finals. I feel like he's almost at the point where he was just like. I did what I could do, and I'm just going to have to live with it. That's that's my only way of breaking down why he was so nonchalant with it. Yep, and and maybe we'll do an entire live chat about LeBron and the finals and all that because we go on forever. Uh, I want to hit on this last topic, uh, World Cup craze. World Cup is friggin' everywhere. I, I step on my door, I swear a soccer ball just goes flying by my face. It's all over Twitter. <laughs> it's all over my McDonald's product. I, I'm, I'm curious – are you guys in a World Cup? Do you watch it? Are you a fan? Uh, Jason? Uh, I took a lot of heat yesterday from people uh, talking about this, but I'm not. And, I mean, I, I get if you're a soccer fan and all that, but I just think that people are bored. There's no, no big sport going on, and people need something to talk about because I get you can be patriotic and stuff, but you're not watching everything that the U.S. competes in, so I don't know why people are going so crazy and about – Soccer. I mean, I, I my roommate and one of my best friends in uh, college and high school, he's the biggest soccer fan. And, I mean, I've just been around it a lot, and I've just never gotten into it. So I don't – a lot of these people, including Drew, uh, my roommate, he – I mean, he even admits that he just wants to be able to talk with other people about it. So I think yep. that's really the big reason on it. Yep. Eddie? <laughs> Dude, I'm not a big soccer fan, but at this time of year, I, I – become a bandwagon fan. <laughs> and I'm, not, I'm not afraid to admit it at all. I check out a lot of the games, uh, um, especially obviously when the U.S. is on, but um, I don't know shit about soccer at all, but I will try to carry a conversation on with someone if they if they bring it up, you know? Obviously, you bump into people like, oh, did you see the game? Did you see the game? And you're like, yeah, you know, and just bullshit for like 
five minutes or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Uh, as far as me, I'll, I'll put I'll put it as simple as can be. I'd rather watch a Guy Fieri cooking show than the World Cup. And that's saying a lot because Guy Fieri could be one of the worst humans on earth. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> Guy Fieri. I mean, there's no, there's no one likes Guy Fieri. And that's saying a lot. That's how much I dislike the World Cup. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, that's the sneaker rundown. Hope you guys enjoyed. Eddie Wynn, Jason Donner. Guys, check out their YouTube channels. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be doing this. We're going to try to do it a couple times a week. Hopefully, you know how I am with the live chats. Uh, guys, thanks for joining. Definitely. Thanks for having me, man. Shout out, uh, Guy Fieri. Guy. <laughs> 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 uh, thanks for watching, everyone at home. Peace.